next week, next month, when you've already reached that goal, what do you have? You always oh, effect. That's what you have. You have to keep working and attaining that goal. If I get to a million subscribers, that that will be one of the greatest days of my life, guaranteed. Because I've been working at that for over a decade, right? I mean, realistically, I've only been working at it for about four years because initially my first YouTube goal was 100,000 subscribers, which I was working at for the longest time. But once I reach that, if I decide, right, mission accomplished, I'll enjoy that day, I'll enjoy that week, I'll enjoy that month, I'll be like, hey, that's me, got a million subscribers. The gold play button will arrive and that'll be equally a very awesome day. But once the dust settles, I'll need something else, and luckily I'll have YouTube still, like just because you have a million subscribers doesn't mean you then stop making videos, I'll still have videos to make, I'll still have series I want to do, I'll maybe branch out to other things, I'll do, you know, Twitch streams, I've got that as a goal to aspire towards there being a good, entertaining streamer. If I reached a million and had no goals, I would feel empty, like although I've literally just achieved my dream, I wouldn't feel satisfied. So, you have to enjoy the process. It's basically, that's what I'm saying. A long-winded way of saying, you've got to enjoy the process. Because if you only want the end goal, you will only ever be satisfied that one time you reach the end goal. And not only that, the chances of you reaching that end goal will be much, much lower. Because you're not enjoying the process of getting there, and that would make you quit. And when you quit, I mean, well, that's, that's a recipe for failure because if you quit it doesn't happen and I do just want to get this out of the way uh, obviously it's very unlikely that you become a youtuber or a streamer and I feel very privileged to say that as someone who is a youtuber or a streamer and you might think oh it's easy for you to say it's easy for you to talk about how easy it is to be a streamer a youtuber or whatever because you've done it but what people don't say whilst on the whole it's unlikely you become a youtuber or a streamer uh, this number is somewhat fabricated I'm sure but they say that obviously the longer you do it the more your chances are of success if you do it for five years your chance of success become like 80 percent let's say it's 10 years of doing youtube your chance of success if it's 80 percent and it's something you want to do that's as good as guaranteed do you not think if, if you have an 80 percent chance success rate and it's something you really want to do that's pretty much nailed on to happen and that's always the mindset i took into doing youtube it was never a matter of if I became a YouTuber, it was always a matter of when and what way I took to get there. I tried vlogging, it didn't work out. I tried gaming over and over and over again, it didn't work out. And then I did my one thing that did work out because I threw so many darts at the dartboard. Th that's the thing. If you wear a blindfold and you have darts and you there's a dartboard in front of you, going to hit a ball guy because you know, unless you're not trying you just yeah, you blindfold on you've got to hit the bullseye of this streamer q and a's and i do always incorporate the q and a what's happening on the stuff in this video a lot of you ask because i have another quest exactly and at these trades let's go for a superstition the nose trade up the dynamos i'll check after this if we've got any crimson lobos kicking about bang Oh, Slipstreet, it's another S, but it's not an S tier. Do we do we have any Lobos here? We don't, which means we're probably not going to get any Black Markets or anything. Oh, Heat Wave! I was going to say, yeah, not Black Markets, Heat Wave, drop it in the comments. Is this an S tier now? I really think it might be. That's not me trying to save the session, save the video. 
Heatwave is OG, it's valuable, and it looks beautiful. And if you know the rest here, I think you know what, for my OG brothers, Heatwave, I think officially, this is party time, we're upgrading Heatwave to an S tier. You can have three items in an S tier with the massive tool black market you got. Fire God, you're just Heatwave 2.0, you don't have the nostalgia factor, you're staying at an A tier, my guy. But Heatwave is cool, and it looks beautiful. Heatwave to an S tier. You can have three items in an S tier with the massive full black market you got. Fire God, you're just Heatwave 2.0. You don't have the nostalgia factor, you're staying at an A tier, my guy. So, Heatwave, honorary, permanent S tier. Okay, let's do, I'm not going to do, let's do a no look. Ah, uh, wait, no, I need to look at my inventory before I do a no look. So, most recent, black market, party time, and fireworks. Okay, alright, let's do it. Party time, and fireworks in the archive. Jewelit Dragons! Boom! It's going to be party time. Let's see. Okay, it is... Fox. Thank you. 